This is my neutrals palette, so I put a mirror in it because I use it the most. And so I have two shrooms. Shroom is a really great highlight color. I really like it a lot. And then I have Naked Lunch, which is a great lid color. And it's this kind of pinky neutral color. And then I have Grand Entrance, which is my absolute favorite color right now. It's a great all-over lid color, and it's a star flash, so it's super, super pigmented. Then I have Kid, which I don't really like because once it's, again, it's a matte, so it's not very pigmented, and it's also kind of just an unflattering color. I'm not exactly sure why. Then I have All That Glitters, which is one of my all-time favorites, and it's super pigmented and super flattering. I just love it, and it's frosty. Then I have French Cuff, which I really don't like. It's not very pigmented, and it shows up mostly as glitter, but it's limited edition and no longer available. Then here is Melon, which I like. This is a pressed pigment, and it's a really, really shimmery color. Here's Amber Lights, which is another very shimmery color, and I like it, but it is kind of orangey, so I don't absolutely love it. Then here's Woodwinked, which looks completely different swatch, but that's definitely one of my all-time favorites. It's great for the crease or for an all-over lid color. Here is Tempting, another color which I really like. This is just a very true brown neutral with shimmer. Here is Satin Taupe, which is kind of a purpley brown, which is really flattering for brown eyes, so I really like that one a lot, especially as a crease color. Here is Bronze, another one of my favorite crease colors. It's super shimmery and super pretty. I just love it, and I feel like it's not talked about enough. Here is Twinks, which is another purpley brown, and I really like this also for the crease color. And I'll zoom out. Satin Taupe is more of a taupey color. It's a little bit more grayish, and this one, Twinks, is just a little bit more of a purpley brown without the grayishness. Then here is Glamour Check, which is a very pretty crease color. It's very Here is Shroom, although you can barely see it. Here's Naked Lunch, another color you can also barely see. It's very close to my skin. Here is Grand Entrance. Then we have Kid, which is the darker one. And then All That Glitters. And then French Cuff. Then Melon. Then Amber Lights, Woodwinked, Tempting, and here is Tempting once again, just another swatch in a different area. Then here is Satin Taupe, Bronze, Twinks, and Glamour Check. Here are my single shadows and paint pots. The first one is Floof right here, and this is a really nice highlight color. It's very similar to Shroom. Here's Shroom and here's Floof. And Floof is slightly more pink, and this comes in Special Edition Emanuel and Garo packaging. The next one is Humid, and I really love Humid. It's definitely a must-have for me. It's a really nice, rich green color. It's a dark green, but it's not too, too dark. And this is in the To the Beach collection. It's very pigmented. The next one is Beau Gray from the Liberty of London collection. I really don't like this color because it's a matte gray, but it really is not pigmented at all. It's so hard to get any pigmentation, but I do like the idea of the color, and once you really, really build it up, it is a nice color. And I like the packaging a lot. And then I have Expensive Pink, which is kind of a pink and kind of a neutral, and it has these gold shimmers in it, and it's very pigmented and very, very pretty, and it's from the Neo Sci-Fi collection. And then I have Soft Force from the Style Warriors collection, and I really like this color. It's a white gold. The only thing about it is that the shimmers are very large, so it does have a lot of large shimmers, as you can see. And then here I have the Bear Study Paint Pot, which is really nice, and then the Rubenesque Paint Pot. And I do like Rubenesque better than Bear Study because I think it's a more original color, but Bear Study is more wearable. And then for swatches, here I have Expensive Pink, and then I have Floof, and next to Floof I have Shroom, so you can kind of see the difference. And then down there I have Soft Force, so you can see the difference between Soft Force and Floof, and there, there really is a pretty big difference, I think. And then here is Bow Gray, here is Humid, and then 
Here is Rubenesque paint pot and swatch next to it if you can even see the difference. There's melon pigment and they're a very similar color. Melon pigment is more shimmery though. And then here is Bear Study paint pot. Here I have vanilla pigment which I haven't pressed and then here is a swatch of it and to the left of it I just have white frost pigment and then below it I have Vex so you can see the difference.